river fish have long fed the people in this area and catfish is of course uh, no exception. It's been a, a primary food source for a long, long time. And, and one of the great things about this is I often get asked what is specific to the Ozarks that you don't find elsewhere around the country. And, and we know from research that gig suckers or spear fishing catfish at night uh, with a flashlight or other light source is really here in the Ozarks. You might find it in other places, but this is where it's from. And, and while these catfish were not hunted that way, um, it's still a, a good example of things that are specific to the Ozarks. The other thing about catfish and river fish is, uh, as you know, we don't serve anything without research to support it. So there are things that are allowable and things that are not allowable. Uh, over time, we've been able to add walleye and trout to our list of what's allowable. And yes, those of you who are gonna say, what about uh, sunfish and, and crappie and some of these small pond fish? Yes, they're allowable. And if you wanna come in and uh, do the work for us to, to skin them and fillet them and take the bones out, we would love that help. Uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna take these slightly larger fish. And things like trout, fit into this story very well because we didn't serve them for almost two years until we learned of a trout farm south of Rolla that dates back to the 1890s. Even there, that's a little bit after our timeline, uh, but it's still a, a good example of how research works and allows us to tell that story.